Welcome back to SketchUp for Architecture Students. Now, in this video, we're going to look at the Follow Me tool to add a bit of detail to these window components that we created earlier. Now, what we'll do is we'll select the wall layer, which is the layer that those components went onto, and we're going to switch off the roof and roof structure layer so we can see what we're doing. Now, as we know, these are components, so if we edit one, we can edit all of the components at the same time. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a window trim that's going to go around the side of the window and a sill element that'll go along the bottom. So what I'm first going to do is just draw a profile that will be the cross-section of my trim. So I'm just going to do a very simple profile, cross 70, 30, another 50 across here, bring it back to that edge, bring it back to that corner, and then close it off. I'm going to make a fillet through there, so then I can just delete that corner. So that's going to be the element that I'm going to extrude around the window. Now, this is the Follow Me tool over in the sort of main Move Copy Rotate palette. It's a bit tricky to use, uh, to be honest. Now, if I select it, the aim of the game would be to select that surface and try and encourage it along that edge. But often uh, you don't have much joy. SketchUp can't really quite work out where you want to pull that surface along. So I'm going to help it out by actually drawing a path for it to go along. So I'm going to draw an edge, just a line, along here, along the top, and along this back edge through there. And that'll, I'll define that as the path for the extrusion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select those elements now, that line I've just created, control to keep the selection going. Oops, I don't want that element. I'll start again. Get that line, get that line, get the top line. So I've got the lines that I want. I'm going to just zoom in a little bit to my extrusion. I'm going to use a follow me tool. Now because I've predefined the path, it should work a little easier. So as soon as I select this, the lines will disappear, but then I'll select the surface and fingers crossed, it should work. So there you see, what it's done is that it's interpreted my path very clearly and brought that element all the way around that perimeter of the window. Now I'm going to just zoom in on this corner through here and make myself a sill element. So I'll make it 70 long, 30 deep, bring it back, I'll just do a inference through there and bring it back, give myself a filleted draining edge, delete that. I'm not going to use the follow me tool here, I'm just going to push this to the extent, zoom in to the end there so that it knows that I want to stop at that edge. Now you notice here that the extrusion is hollow, which means that for some reason I haven't quite closed the shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a bit of extra line work to see. There we go. That's closed the shape through there. Now, like the rest of the window, I'm just going to triple click all of the elements and give it just a timber finish like the rest of the window then close that off and then click outside of that component to see that in fact it's changed it on all of the elements and we now have a more complicated but perhaps more realistic looking uh, window style for us there. 